everyone. I'm Miss Cindy and welcome to Canvas Kids. This week we are going to be painting a snowman. So this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. Everybody has their snowmen traced on their canvas board. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to take a big brush and I am going to take plain white paint and I'm going to cover all the areas that are white. So even though his nose and his eyes are black, I'm still going to go over it with the white, just like I've done before in some of the videos. We don't have to worry about staying in the lines, we could just go over it. It doesn't matter because you won't be able to tell later. But just make sure you paint it nice and thin and you can still see the lines through it if you can't see the lines it's definitely too thick so just give it a quick coat of white so besides the head you want to do the body i'm going to try to skip over part of the scarf but some of it's going to get it which is fine you want to make sure you don't leave on any spots of white. Or it's supposed to be white, I should say. Okay. So just do a quick coat of white. Now, if you look at it sideways, you can see if you missed any spots, because they won't be shiny. Remember, you just want a quick, light coat of white. Okay, looks good. So while that is still a little wet, we're going to take a little bit of, I'm going to take a smaller brush actually. Didn't really matter what brush you used for that. I'm going to use a smaller flat brush. And I'm going to take some white. And I'm going to take just the tiniest bit of blue and I'm going to take some more white because I want it very light and what I'm going to do is around the edge I'm going to paint it it's okay if you go over the line where his body is as long as you can still see the line like I went too far so when I do that edge with the background I'm going to have to kind of guess where it is So, kind of go around the edges with the light blue on your brush. You don't want to paint a whole bunch all over. It just is around the edges to be a little colorful, give it a little shadowing. So you want to do it, you could just mix the blue on your plate if you want. Like I took a little bit of white and I took a dab of the blue and I kind of mixed it together in between. You could do that to make it easier. But you definitely want it on the light side. Okay. So maybe it would help you if you did mix it on your plate first to get it real light. Remember, the blue is very dark. So because the blue is so dark, you barely need any of it to go with the white. Skip where the nose is. If you put some down where the nose is, it's going to show through, unfortunately. So you want to try not to do that. Right. You want to do this while it's still, the white is still a little wet from when you just painted over it. Now, if you get too much blue on it, like I kind of do here, what you do is you go back and you put more white on it. And if that doesn't work, wait till it's dry and then add more white. It'll look better anyway once 
you get the other stuff on it, it'll look much better. It might look a little too dark now, but later it won't. Okay, so just like that. So now what we want to do is we want to paint. I'm going to start off and let that dry a little bit before I do the scarf. So I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to do this little part right here of the hat. And then we're going to do the scarf. So I'm going to take the same brush I just used. Get all that off of it. So you don't want to get any blue mixed in. And we have the pink here. And I'm going to take a bunch of white. And I just want to mix it up loosely. So you have a lighter color with some dark and light in it. And what I want to do is paint the band of the hat and try to paint it side to side. And if you go over the lines a little bit, it's okay because you're going to put the black on the top of it, above it, and you're going to put the black underneath it. So you could always hide up any parts that you accidentally went over. And you're going to have blue on the sides of it from the sky. So you'll be fine if you accidentally went over. Now, if it's looking too dark or too light, after you put that on, you could go back and you can add some white for some streaks of white. Or you can add some streaks of the dark color. I kind of like the dark color, okay? Now you want to do the scarf. I'm going to kind of do it in sections. I'm going to kind of start down here because my blue might be a little wet. So remember, do it how you feel comfortable doing it. But I'm going to start here work my way down. Now you want to follow with your brush. You want to follow the shape of the scarf. So see how I'm going down with the curve of the scarf? And make sure you stay in the lines. I'm trying to be a little quicker, so I'm not staying perfectly in the lines, which is fine. If you don't either. I know it's hard. So do your little fringes at the bottom and kind of just drew those in instead of tracing them because they were kind of hard to trace. Just, I did the best I could with them. Okay. And then just, like I said, follow the curve. And then do the same thing. So you want to have, if you don't have enough streaks of color in here, you could do the same thing. You could take a little bit of dark and add it. Or you could do the same thing with the white, like right there. Because you want it to look kind of like a, it's made out of like material. So material is not all exactly one color. Always. Like yarn and that isn't. So now... You want to do where the knots are. That's the part I'm going to do next. And then I'm going to go this way. Around his neck. Okay. Just like that. Kind of follow it around. Try to stay in the lines the best you can. You kind of got out of line a little bit there. But that's okay. Sometimes it's just hard staying in the lines. All right, and do the same thing. Put a little bit of color in there if you need to. If there's not enough. All right. And then, this little part that's hanging off, this is the other end of the scarf. Let's 
think they just follow the shape of it. Just like that. Now I'm going to go back. Put a little bit of the dark part. It's not even showing up because it is already kind of dark. So let's take a little bit of the white. Nope, that's not showing up either. Come on. There we go. And I heard around that one because it's a small piece. All right, and then what I did to kind of signify that this is the knot where the scarf is tied is I took some of the dark and I kind of made some swirl there. Like that. Just to make it look like it's something different. So it looks like it was kind of like that's where it was tied. Okay. So now you want that to dry. And while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and paint his carrot nose. So I'm going to take the orange. And I went with the lighter orange. The regular orange to me is just too dark. So go ahead and paint his nose. If you go out of the lines a little, it's okay because, you know, every carrot is not shaped the same. Turn mine around so I can reach it from that side. Okay. Go ahead and do his nose. So his nose is done. So now what I'm going to do is, I don't know if I went into this order on the sheet or not, but sometimes I do change my order as I'm going along. What I'm going to do now is take the black and I'm going to paint his eyes, his mouth, and his buttons. So take black and these are supposed to be not perfectly round because they're made like with a rock or a, in the olden days a piece of coal. So don't worry about the shape of them if they're not round because they don't have to be. And then for the mouth, that's all I did is I didn't want to trace them on because I figured you could just make your own mouth. And I just made little dots like that to make it look like you just made his mouth out of whatever you found. Okay. So just like that. This is his mouth. And then... For his buttons, the same thing. Just paint them in the best you can. They don't have to be perfect. You don't have to worry about staying in the lines whatsoever for those. Okay, just like that. I don't want that piece that sticks up. Okay, I fixed it. Right, I'm gonna wipe the extra black my paper towel. Okay. Sometimes it's easier to wipe off some of your paint instead of putting it in your cup of water because you get your water so dirty so fast. And the black would have made it really super dirty. Now while those are wet, I'm going to take some white and I want to make some swirls just to make it look a little different. So I'm going to do it in the eyes and I'm going to do it in the buttons just so it shows up a little bit. You don't have to have it exactly perfect. You just want it to look a little different. It's just a little different this time. Okay. And now the next step is the blue background. So use whichever brush is the easiest. You might want to use a small one around the snowman and a bigger one around the other parts, the big spots, but you want to take the blue, just the blue. You don't have to mix it with white. If you want to mix it with a little bit of white, you can and make it lighter. It's up to you. I don't remember what I actually said in my description. I might have added some white to it, but it's up to you. 
but you want it, I think it shows up kind of nice on the dark. You want to do your whole background and you just kind of want to do it different ways. You don't want to have to paint it all one direction and you can go through and add a little white in it. Kind of nice that way too. Now when you go around the edge of your hat here, you don't have to worry about where the black part's going to be, so if you go over it, it's okay. But don't go over where the pink part is. You can't hide that. We'll try not to anyway. I know nobody does it on purpose, but... So go ahead and paint the entire background. Whatever part is not already painted, except for the hat. Paint the entire background your blue. You know what? I am going to add white into it. Not a lot. But I am going to add some. Now that I'm looking at it. It's up to you, though. Alright, so paint your whole background. I'm going to do it quick, so mine might not be the neatest. But I, you take your time. I just want to finish my video for you guys. Okay. The only reason why I have my painting up on here is because this way I don't get my table full of paint. And I don't have a tablecloth underneath it because the tablecloth always moves on me as I'm trying to paint. So go ahead and remember just paint whichever direction you want. Go around everything. Be nice and neat. I'm just trying to hurry. Remember, you guys don't have to hurry. Okay. Be really careful around the nose. The nose is probably still wet. And then if you missed up messed up any spots around the scarf and you went over into the wrong spot you can go ahead and go over them now with the blue because nobody will see it because the blue is so much darker you wouldn't see it if I made a mistake and I covered it up just like my Snowman down here. I can't see the line anymore, but I am going to make the line where I think it is. And nobody will know because I will hide up any line that was previously there with the dark color. Okay. Oops. Okay, don't do that. I just definitely got some blue on my skirt. You can't remove it. Okay, so just do the rest of your background, all in the blue. Like I said, if you want to add a little white to it, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just do it straight blue. I mean, I do like the dark colored blue. It's up to you. Okay, so this is what we got now. I'm going to turn it back around, though, because the last step is his hat. You're going to wait for your background to dry. I'm going to go ahead and paint mine now. But I'm going to do the hat, I'm going to do the little brim of the hat first. Use whichever brush works for you. See, I'm using it on the sides, the brush on the edge like that. But, if you want, is you can take a rounded brush like this, and you could do that, and that's actually easier on this one. Okay, so just paint that part, and now I'm going to switch over to the big one, the flat one for the top part. Okay. 
to see if you made any mistakes with your blue or your pink. Your black will just cover it up anyway. Just like that. All right, and we are all done with our snowmen. We turn it around. There we go. See, the blue looks much better, even though I continued it further than I was supposed to. Once I put the mouth on and everything, it looks perfectly fine. Looks like it was supposed to be that way. All right, so don't forget to put your initial on him, and you are all set. Next week, we are going to be painting a narwhal. Okay, so I hope you guys like that one. I'll see you then. Bye.